Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tess and I make videos about stretching our money as far as we can. And today's video was a is a requested video. Um, somebody has asked if I would make a video about how to darn a sock or how to darn things generally. So that's what I've got for you today. A uh, video about how to darn a sock. Um, I am not a perfect darner or sewer or maker of any kind so please watch it with that in mind <laughs> it's just a, um, my efforts to explain to you the process I'm sure you'll all do a lot better of a job than me <laughs> um, but um, I thought I would film it anyway as it was requested and show you how I do it anyway um, I will say Today has been one of those days where everything, everything has been difficult or things have broken or, it, honestly. Um, so I just want to take two minutes just to say, oh, what, I, I need to just sit in a chair and not touch anything today. <laughs> we, um, it's our routine when we get up in the morning in pyjamas to put a coat on and wellies and go and let the chickens out first thing and feed them because they'll be, they're ready to get out of their egg loo by the time we get up and into the room. And um, at the moment the gas board are digging up our garden and um, unbeknown to us, because it's out of view of the house, um, somebody's dug a hole and um, piled all the earth up against the door of the shed where the chicken food's kept. So this morning in pyjamas and wellies and a mac, I went out to get the chicken food and put, top up their feeders and then let them out. And there was a massive pile of very wet clay soil piled up against the shed door. Um, so that had to be dug out before we could feed the chickens and let them out. I have two poorly boys, um, I've broken a glass and cut my finger, a book dropped on my head, um, all, I, that, it's just been one of those days. So um, whilst I have darned a sock, um, that's the only thing today, oh no, and I made a mug cake for my eldest and both of those things have worked and I'm going to consider that a win today. <laughs> Honestly, it's ridiculous. Been an odd day of unexpected turns of events and poorliness and uh, and whatnot. Having said all of that, um, I'm very thankful for all the things that have gone right today, and I'll show you now how I darn a sock. So I'm definitely making do and mending today. <laughs> um, the um, sock I have is one of my teenage sons. It's very worn and bobbly and has two holes where it's gone through at the toes. And I'm going to show you how I darn socks. Um, I cannot find my darning mushroom anywhere. It's a wooden mushroom shaped um, receptacle to hold the sock in place while you do your stitching. So I'm making do with what I do have and I've put it over a small jam jar. So it's just something that will has a solid surface underneath. It's easy to hold in my left hand while I sew and has a flat has a surface that I can sew against if you like. Um, I have had a look for something that's thin enough to not make a bulky fabric when I've finished and I've found some old um, reinforcing and mending thread that I have, it's wool and nylon, it's really old, 85% wool, 15% nylon it says. It's not the same colour but I'm not going to worry about that because I don't have any black 
I do have some black double knitting wool but on a sock I think it's really important that you try and not end up with something so bulky especially at the toes because it'll feel uncomfortable so I'm going with this thin thread I have got it doubled up on my needle you can see there's two there and I'm going to show you how I would darn now again I don't want it to be too bulky so I'm going I'm not going to put a knot on there I'm going to sew it in place to secure it there's actually a little seam here that's the toe seam I'm going to put a couple of stitches through that nice long thin ones to secure the yarn from the inside so that um, there's no knot Oh dear, I've just been um, talking to you and sewing and I hadn't set the camera going again. <laughs> so I've anchored the wool here just with a couple of long stitches so that they're quite flat. And now I'm beginning the process of making new fabric to cover this hole. So I'm not pushing the, holes, the sides of the hole together and sewing them together. I want the hole to stay open and I'm going to create some new fabric over that space and I'll do this by weaving and that's really basically what darning is it's weaving new fabric so I'll start with stitches all in this direction I've already done one when I thought the camera was rolling and it wasn't so you can see where the wool comes out there and I am going in here and we're going into the sock where the fabric is still nice and strong and then coming back out on the other side of the hole pulling the thread through so that what I have is super clear a whole series of lines of thread so we're going for warp and weft. Is it weft? I think it's weft. Um, anyway, we're making some strands of wool that cover the hole but don't close it. And that can be woven into on the next round. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Again, I'm focusing on where the fabric is still of the sock is still good, so not going any into any areas that look weak. So there we are. We've got lots of parallel stitches that cover the hole but don't pull the sides of the hole together. And then what I'm going to do is so from my position here is I'm going to go over and under and over and under and over those stitches excuse me well, I just look make sure I'm doing the, catching all the stitches and then out the other side so before I pull that through you can see I've gone over one under one over one under one over one and then I've come out through the sock into a good piece of fabric there and I'm going to pull that through so I'm weaving new fabric over that hole and again I'm not pulling it tight I don't want to close the hole up and then this go round I'll go under this one that I went over, over last time over the one I went under last time under the one I went over last time over the one I went under last time and under the one I went over last time and then back out through the fabric so I'm doing the opposite if I went under a thread I'm going over it if I went over a thread I'm going under it back in the other direction and then through the sock again on that side and then I'll pull that through gently so I'm beginning to make a woven 
fabric and then again so our threads coming out of the sock here I went under this I went under this thread last time so I'm going to go over it and under the next one over under over and then through the fabric of the sock to anchor it all so I'll show you again trying to get this to focus a bit more I hope you can see that so I'm making a woven fabric over that hole I'm just push the stitches up to each other and then I'm going to repeat the process I'm going to go because I went over this one last time I'm going to go under over under over under and then out through the fabric of the sock. I might do one more go this way. I'm going to go over there. There we go. So I'm happy with that. I know there's another hole here. I'll deal with that in a minute. I am happy with that. So that has given a nice flat fabric to cover that hole. So I've not pulled the sides of the hole together, but I've woven some new fabric going in and out with this darning thread. And then to tie that off, I'm just going to put the needle through a couple of times. I don't want anything bulky. I'm literally just securing and anchoring the thread. There we go. A few times and then I can cut it off. And there we have a nice new piece of fabric. I hope that's made sense. I'm going to carry on and do this one now and I'll show you after. So there we go. I do not profess to be an amazing darner. <laughs> um, but that is two holes in this sock filled with new fabric by weaving new fabric using the darning wool. You can use any wool as long as it's reasonably similar to the thickness of the sock. I'm just trying to make my camera focus a bit better on this. Um, so there you go. Let me take it off the jar. We are properly make, making do, aren't we, today? <laughs> no darning mushroom. <laughs> Different coloured wool. But those holes now, nobody's toes are going to be poking out of these bits of fabric here. They are mended and no one will see them. They're inside a shoe. So there we go. That is how I would darn a sock. If any of you know different methods, let me know down below. That's the way that I was taught to do it by my mum um, a very long time ago. And as I say, um, absolutely not perfect, but holes filled. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again very soon.
Bye for now.